Okay, I've been asked to do a video on feeding before breeding. So I'm just going to show you a couple of mixes now. The pigeons are coming to the end of their malt. And this one is a depurative. So this is what I'm adding to the food now prior to breeding. So this is the malting mix that the pigeons have been on throughout the malt. It's made uh, by Bayers, as you've probably seen. So what I do now, Okay, so there you go, that's the mixture put together. 50% depurative and 50% breeding mix. Now, as they go up, when they go into the last flight, I'll put it, I'll make it 75% depurative and 25% still the same mixture. And that's prior to breeding pairing the birds up I want to make sure the hens especially the hens are not carrying any weight because I want them to be down in eight and ten days so that's the mix a lot of people are breeding early but me no I'm not breeding yet I'm getting my pigeons ready so when I do pair up we're at the perfect weight I'm not carrying any excess weight and they'll go down on their eggs hopefully within ten days of pairing. There we are now, we're having that mixture I've just shown you. 50%, 50%. As you can see, the pigments are in excellent condition. These are mostly my young birds from 2022. A few additions for the breeding, the grizzles. Well, that's the feeding I do prior to pairing. Well, um, this cloth that I'm in now has not got um, a light because I don't believe in putting lights on for pigeons. I try to um, keep everything natural, apart from the darkness system obviously, which is unnatural. But, uh, lights in the winter I don't do, even when I pair up the pigeons I don't use the lights. The pigeons are in good condition. You don't need to use like in my opinion to get the pigeons down in 10 days. It's how you feed them is the way um, the pigeons when they're at the right weight when they've been separated for so long when you put them together they natural naturally breed. Yeah some people use like as many rows that meet are on. As you can see these pigeons are in excellent condition and I'll just show you into another section now where they've got the lights on, where they have got a light. Um, I don't normally put them on but it's still out, out, right outside. Um, but I'm just going to show you now. Um, these pigeons, these young birds that are on the last one or two flights um, were in November. I won't be pairing up yet a bit too early for me but I will be pairing up shortly in, um, after Christmas or the new year because I think that's plenty of time enough the earlier you breed the more work you have to do so uh, I like to keep it nice and simple so let me show you next door so now I'll have my breeding lot you've seen, you've seen me males before Listen, that's the mix they're having now. You can see the condition these pigeons are in. They should be at this time of the year. They're no stress. They're not under any stress whatsoever. So they should be in the best condition of the year. Prior to pairing. And that's the mixture that I'd use. It's the 50% uh, depurity, 50% molten mix. Prior to breeding. I like to give them that. These pigeons are probably up on the last flight. These are the older stock pigeons and the um, yearling racers from last year, or 2022. So the, uh, they're coming up to two years old. Um, I will move them back into the racing loft once they've um, finished the malt, which they have they're finished now. So any, any, over the next few days, put the five cocks that we're going to be raising next year back into the Winwood lot next door. 
and open the box up and put them back in. Uh, the young cocks now took a box that will be joining them. The yearlings, young in 2022, they'll be joining these five two year olds. Maybe four, I'm not too sure yet, but maybe four or five. Definitely four, because the four of one. Um, you can see the condition of the pigeons, they're in excellent condition. They've got a very good appetite. Um, I feed them by hand, as you know. Like I say, when they start the malt, I feed them by hopper. I put a, a full malting mix in the hopper and let them take as much as they want. Um, after the malt, now and forevermore into the season, all my pigeons are fed by hand. So I can see and control what they eat. everything they give them. That for me is one of the um, secrets of pigeons. Feeding. They are, they are racing pigeons is how you feed them. Now a lot of fanciers might not tell you that and might disagree with that. But like I say I've had pigeons since I was six years old. I know if you can overfeed them or underfeed them. We've got a fine balance, fine line with the feeding. If you eat pigeon, they'll eat as much as you give them. Whether they need it or not, that's the question. That's the other story. Do they need it? I don't think they do. But what I will say is never, never have your pigeons hungry if you want a successful racing season. Because, yeah, they might win one or two faster, but when that wind turns against them and they fall behind and you lose them, that's because there's not enough fuel in the tank. That's only my opinion. And after an hard race, you don't want no light diet, lefty stuff. It's like any human being, when they haven't done an hard day's work, they come home and they have a good meal. They don't eat lettuce. They eat meat. Two veg. They have a good meal. Uh, you've got to think, that's how I think. And obviously pigeons are, have got to work around your circumstances. Yeah, I wish I had more time with my birds in the day, letting them out twice a day, taking them training twice a day, yeah. But then the feed of change, you have to feed them differently. So you have to adapt and you have to, if you only can let them out for an hour a day, then you have to adapt in what you feed them and what you put in the tank. Because a pigeon is 16 grams when he's at his true racing weight. And I know I can get any of these pigeons to that racing weight within three or four weeks. Well, that's another story. So there you go. The lights in the loft. The light will be going off now. The pigeons have had as much as they want, as you can see. Once they start going up to that drinker, that's when I turn, that's when I say no more. The pigeons are healthy, which they should be at this time of the year. No medications, just clean drinking water. There's no medications in the drinkers, in my lots, especially at this time of the year. They don't need it, they have to build up that natural immunity. And these pigeons are ready to go, they're ready to bear. I know if I bring the females in within 24 hours they're prepared and settled. But like I said before, what, why put the workload? Why do you want them to breed early? No need. No need for it. My best young birds always come in around March time. That suit me. Yeah, if I, if I bred early, paired them up early and bred early, then that, that means more work for me. To get the end the same results. Everybody's different. We go into the water now, these cocks. The cocks are going for the drinker now, look. So there's the drinker, the cocks are going for it. We've had to fill, we're still calm on the floor. If you see the perfect condition, the water was snow white, the feather feathering's tight. So that's my feeding prior to pairing, and like I said, 
especially on the racing pigeons next door, the young cock, the young cocks from 2022. Once that last flight is thrown, once that last fl flight is thrown, then they'll be on 75% depurative, only a quarter of what they've been molting on, on the molting mix, prior to pairing. But I'm not going to make the same mistake I did in 2022 and pair them yearlings up too early. Some people may have already paired. Some people may be thinking of pairing, but for me, it's too early to pair up now at this time of the year. For, especially for yearlings. But that's only my opinion, so I'm just going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try to reply. Thank you very much. And I, I just want to wish everybody a happy breeding and a successful breeding. We don't want no clear egg, we only want full eggs for the future generation. It's an immaculate, and that's you've just seen it, that's what I just showed you. That's how I feed them, that's the calm. And there you go. Going back to the boxes. So, good luck to everybody in 2023. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We're meant to be Outdoor, forever free. to be